in today's video we're going to show you how we installed our solar panels we have three main components first is the sprinter roof rails the second is the aluminum angle bars that we cut to size to fit four solar panels and the last one is the adjustable solar panel tilt mount that we bought from Amazon So this solar panel install probably took us about two days and that's only because we didn't really have a proper working area to work with. I would like to think that the most challenging part is the weather. It was cold and it was really windy. So for us to go on top of the roof to, to try and fit everything and then bring them down and then go up again it was difficult in the beginning we we're cutting the pieces outside out in the balcony and then the weather just got so bad that we had to do it inside the unit but we were able to make it and um, yeah here it is we we shall show you the finished product Are we good? Yeah. All right. Okay, so this is our solar panel. So there's watt each. So there's four of them and it's 100 watt per panel. And how we mounted it, we installed this sprinter roof rails and then Gibby bought this angle bar from Princess Auto. So that's the angle bar that um, he cut to size so that it will fit the four panels and then we also bought these how do you call this mm, hold on there's a name well it's for tilting the solar panels um, it's not the best setup right now because it takes it takes work to to tilt it we have to remove the, the lock the unscrew the bolts when if we want to tilt it unscrew it and then screw it back once we're done but for now uh, this will do so just get it tilt it up so that's how it looks so if we were parked and you would have to to use the screw to lock it lock it in place right yeah that's actually if you we don't really have the need to tilt it um, so far sitting it flat has been uh, enough source yes. to charge our batteries so this is the Renogy mono crystalline solar panels and then it is charging 300 amp hours of lithium battery 